This recording is going to be over how to classify angles using the words acute, obtuse, and right. All right, the first um, angle we need to talk about is they are called right angles. And right angles um, are angles that are equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so this is very important. Right angles are always 90 degrees. Um, remember that our um, angles that are 90 degrees are usually straight up and straight over. Okay, and it can be any variation as you can see here. It can be um, more like a V because if you would rotate it around then it would look like it was straight up and down. A lot of times when I want to see if I want if I know if it's a right angle, I kind of move it so I can see um, here right here I moved it so I could see that it's straight up and straight down. If I'm looking at my middle shape, I want to move it and now I can see um, that it is straight up and straight over. So sometimes that's what I like to do with my paper. I like to rotate my paper around to see if it actually is 90 degrees. Now when you're looking at 90 degree angles, um, they will be notated with this box in the center. So this box at the, at the angle means that it's 90 degrees. So you will usually not see an arc with 90 degrees. You will just usually see a box here. Um, if you do not see a box here, sometimes um, you won't see a box and you just have to make that judgment whether or not you think it's straight up and straight over. So those are right angles. So right angles, remember, are the, it's the most important to remember that it is a 90 degree angle and it's notated with a little box in the corner instead of an arc. Our next angles are acute angles. Acute angles are angles that are less than 90 degrees. So um, remember in our last lesson we looked at our protractor. And so any of those angles that are less than 90 degrees are acute angles. And um, if you look at our drawings here, all of these are less than 90. And I, again, um, I know that perpendicular lines um, are 90 degrees. And so what I like to do is I like to rotate my shapes around. So let's look at, let's look at um, 37 degrees here. We'll look at the 37 degrees. Now what I like to do is I like to, again, take my paper and rotate it around so I get one flat side. Okay, once I have one flat side, I can draw a line straight up because I know now it's 90 degrees. And so anything from here to here is an acute angle because it's less than 90. Okay, so if I if I was to do that, um, if I was to do that again, if I let's look at my 48 degrees. If I take my 48 degrees, I'm going to rotate it until I get a flat side. Okay, and then I'm going to draw straight up. You can see that it's less than 90 because it's in between here. So that would be an acute angle. Now, you only need to do this if it's not notated in the middle. Most of these are all notated um, with an angle measurements in the middle of the angle where it's supposed to be notated. So if you look at any of these pictures, you can see all of these angles are less than 90. Um, because it says, so we have 48 degrees, less than 90, 28 degrees, less than 90, 37 degrees, 49 degrees, 63 degrees, and 72 degrees. All of those are less than 90, so they are acute angles because they are less than 90. Um, I also um, like to remember <laughs> the word acute. Um, I like to remember that it's less than 90 because I see the word cute in here. And I think um, babies are cute and babies are little. 
And so because babies are cute and little, they have to be less than 90. So, I mean, that's just a silly way to remember, but that's how I remember acute angles, because they're cute babies and they're tiny. All right, um, the next angle we need to learn about is obtuse angles. And obtuse angles are angles that are um, more than 90, but less than 180. Okay, um, because 180, a 180 um, degree is just a straight line. Okay, it's just a straight line. So, because remember, if we have, uh, if we're starting um, here at zero, this is 90 degrees because it's notated here. This is another 90 degrees, so 90 plus 90 is 180. So from the, from the zero all the way over to the next um, spot, that rotation, this total rotation, is 180 degrees. So if it's 180 degrees, um, it's called a straight line. It's not called an obtuse line. So obtuse angles are more than 90 but less than 180. Okay, so is, if you can see again, if I would rotate this, um, if I would rotate my shapes, I'm looking at my 118 degrees, if I would rotate that shape until it, I, it became a straight line, you could draw a line straight up, the semi-straight, and you can see that it is more than 90 because this is 90 degrees, and it's more than 90. So that's just a simple way. If it's not notated in the middle here, that's a simple way you can see if it's an obtuse angle or not. Now, because um, our angles are notated here, we don't need to rotate our paper or anything. We can see that 118 degrees, 130 degrees, 123, 136, 163, and 94. Now, um, a way that I can remember um, obtuse is um, probably not a very nice way, but I think of um, the zero as being um, big and round, okay, a round circle, meaning um, I think of this being big, or I think of the word um, obese, if I could spell right, and um, obese means big or the circle needs bit means big. So obtuse to me, I always think of um, the, the, the zero or the um, O being round and big. And so um, obtuse angles are big angles. Okay, so, so far we've had um, right angles, which are 90 degrees. Acute little angles, which are less than 90, and we have obtuse, meaning big, and every time you say obtuse, you have to get really low and big, so I just think of something very big when I think of obtuse. Um, obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. So those are the three main things that you need to remember. The one last thing is that a straight line is 180 degrees. So let's practice. If we're looking at these angles, I want you to push pause on your video and I want you to try to name these angles as um, right angles, acute angles, or obtuse angles. I want you to try that for me. When you are finished doing that, um, you can go ahead and press play again and come back and see if you're right. All right, now that you're back, um, let's go ahead and look at these angles to see if they're right, acute, or obtuse. All right, let's start out with this one right here. Well, this one, obviously, if you draw your line, is less than 90, so this is an acute angle. Okay, this is an obtuse angle because it's a more than 90. Acute, which is less than 90. Acute, less than 90. I'm doing the ones I know right off the bat. Um. This one looks pretty obtuse to me. And 
and these two I'm not sure of because they're kind of in a position that I can't see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rotate them like I showed you. Let's see. Rotate it to a straight side. Whoa, that's pretty um, straight to me. If you can take it and you can draw that box, that means it's 90 degrees, so this is a right angle. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and rotate this one to see. That's my straight side. That looks pretty um, right to me. Let's see. I would say this is a right angle as well. So hopefully this has helped you understand um, right angles, acute angles, and obtuse angles. And you're able to look at these angles and identify whether or not they are right, acute, or obtuse. If you're still needing um, practice, you can look back in the lesson or call your teacher for help.